episode 10 of the CMA podcast, Daily Reading of the Bible. I am Jordan McDuff, the chaplain for the Bloomington, Illinois chapter of the Christian Motorcycle Association, and today is January 11th, 2023, and we'll be reading out of the ESB. Now, if you notice, you've been keeping up with the podcast that today was supposed to be chapter 10 of Genesis, and uh, yeah, so I read that. Um, It was uh, impossible for me to pronounce. So I'm going to be honest with you. Per the reading plan, we're supposed to be reading 10 and 11 today, kind of getting over the uh, Shem, Ham, and uh, the Terah's descendants, and then Shem's descendant, descendants, and all of that. So, <laughs> so here we go. I am going to skip Genesis 10 because I cannot uh, physically pronounce it. But I found someone online who does an amazing job at recording those names. So I uh, challenge you and encourage you to read um, and to listen along to that because that's the only way that I could get through it. But it's important. It's important uh, work, obviously. So what we're going to do is I'm going to read 11 and I'm only going to read part of it because, again, I I don't want to sit here and stumble over the Bible names, um, but they are important. So I'm going to read Genesis 11 the best that I can, and I'm just going to move on from that because this is also the important part of the descendants because uh, Abraham is the outcome of all of these descendants. So not to be, you know, spoiler alert, but I mean, the Bible's almost 9,000 years old. So, uh, you know, it's kind of on you if this is a spoiler. So here we go. ESV version, Genesis 11. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as people migrated from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had bricks of stone and butamen for mortar. And they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top to the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be dispersed over the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower from which the children of man had built. And the Lord said, behold, they are one people and they have all one language. And this is only the beginning of what they will do. And nothing that they will propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down, go down there and confuse their language so that they may not misunderstand, so they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord dispersed them from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore, its name was called Babel, because the Lord confused the language of all the earth. And from there, the Lord dispersed them all over the face of the earth. These are the generations of Shem. When Shem was a hundred years old, he fathered Aparashad two years after the flood. Then Shem lived after he had fathered Aparashad five hundred years after he had other sons and daughters. When Aparashad had lived thirty-five years, he fathered Shelah. And Aparashad lived after he fathered Shelah four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters. When Shia had lived 30 years, he fathered Eber, and Shia lived after fathered Eber 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber lived 34 years, he fathered Peleg, and Eber lived and fathered Peleg 430 years and had other sons and daughters. When Peleg lived 30 years, he fathered Ryu, and Peleg lived after he fathered Ryu 209 years after he had had sons and daughters. Ryu had lived 32 years, he fathered Shrug. And Ryu lived after he had fathered Shrug 207 years and had other sons and daughters. And Shrug lived 30 years after he uh, he fathered Naor. And when Shrug lived after he had fathered 200 years, he had other sons and daughters. When Naor had lived 29 years, he fathered Terah. And Naor lived after that 119 years and had other sons and daughters. When Terah lived 70 years, he fathered Abram, Naor, and Haran. Now, these are the generations of Terah. Terah fathered Abram, Naor, and Haran. And Haran fathered Lot. Haran died in the presence of his father Terah in the land of his kindred in Ur 
of the Chaldeans. And Abram took, and Abram and Naor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Naor's wife was uh, Milcah, and the daughter of Haran, and the father of Milcah and Iska. Now Sarai was barren; she had no children. Terah took Abram and his son, and Lot, the son of Haran, and his grandson, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, and his son, and his son Abram's wife, and they went forth together from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. The days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah had died in Haran. This has been the reading of the daily reading of the Bible from the CMA. I'm Jordan McDuff, the chaplain of the Bloomington, Illinois chapter of the Christian Motorcycle Association. In the name of Jesus Christ, we got through it.